at the end. So the next paper now, there are uh, a couple of brief uh, <clears throat> changes in the program. So we will, we would like to invite uh, Padma Sisaji uh, to present the paper with the title Impact of Risk-Taking Behavior. So if you are here, please, we would like to continue with your paper. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. And Just please do consider timing because I have the feeling that I'm talking to the walls in vain. So I kindly ask you to speak for eight minutes. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Just a second. So, uh, can you see my slide? It should be coming. It's, uh, it takes a couple of seconds until it reaches us. Let's see. Have you pressed share screen? Yeah, yes, ma'am. It hasn't come yet. Can ah, okay, now now it's coming. Okay, so please uh, start your topic, yeah. and we, we we are listening to you. Okay, so um, the topic uh, for our presentation is impact of risk taking behavior, family support, and quality of life among transgenders. And I am the primary author, and we have two more co-authors, Dr. Bino Mary Chako and Ms. Anchu James is also being part of the study. So. Uh, we have conducted a study on transgenders and we are well aware of what transgenders is and how a society is being transgenders. So uh, why we came up with the study is because a 23-year-old transgender activist committed suicide recently due to medical complication after sexual reassignment surgery in a private hospital. So this was something which uh, gave us light for the study. Uh, we was on a uh, uh, thought that why these people are uh, after knowing that there are a lot of complications related to sexual reassignment surgeries still coming up for such surgeries and even they approaches underdeveloped hospitals throughout the country for uh, such surgeries and it's also seen that uh, based on the uh, amount of discrimination harassment and social stigmatization transgender people are uh, facing uh, they might have uh, chances of uh, embracing all this kind of sexual reassignment surgeries uh, to alleviate the pain of being uh, another gender. And also uh, the how society is seeing them, lack of understanding about the needs uh, are also being viewed. And also it can be seen that all these problems would affect their uh, quality of life uh, as well as what are the other factors which actually make these people into uh, coming up with risk-taking behaviors. So there are a few uh, relevant studies on this aspect and it's seen that quality of life is one among the factors and also uh, if we could see from a lot of studies it can be seen that family plays a key uh, role in most of our gender development or our personality development. So we also wanted to understand what is the family's role in these people's uh, risk-taking behavior. As we came up with these variables for our study which is the risk-taking behavior, how risk-taking behavior is uh, getting involved in uh, uh, transgender people's quality of life as well as how family of family support is also uh, is playing a major part. So uh, our aim of the study is to understand the impact of risk-taking behavior on family support and quality of life among transgender people. So primary objective uh, is to determine determine the relation between risk-taking behavior, family support, and quality of life among transgender people. And as I've told, we are focusing on sexual reassignment surgeries. So our secondary objective was to determine the difference in risk-taking behavior, family support, and quality of life among transgenders in different stages of transition. So these were the hypotheses. We had six hypotheses. 
and this was the inclusion and exclusion criteria so inclusion criteria we focused on transgender people who doesn't wanted to identify themselves as third gender and an age group of 20 to 40 was being uh, selected for the study and people who doesn't conform uh, or other non conforming uh, assigned gender transgender groups especially uh, lesbians gay bisexuals were excluded from the study and by moving on to results this was a social demographic data which we got from the study uh, we had male to female uh, transgenders who were in the transitioning phase so the sample size was 15 so all of them were male to female in the male to female transitioning phase and educational uh, process was like uh, people who were below uh, 10 standard was more in the study and nuclear family members were more and we also found that these people used to take hormones without the consultation so that was also being added into the data and uh, people who were not taking uh, uh, hormones without consultation was six and people without uh, taking uh, hormones without consultation was nine and uh, by considering the stages of transitioning we got initial stage of transitioning 10 people and social transitioning were five. So uh, moving on to the results, these are the tables. Uh, so first thing is relationship between relationship between, between risk-taking behavior and quality of life. So from the data, we can see that there is a negative relationship between risk-taking behavior and overall quality of life. R.697 was being found. That is quality of life decreases as there is an increase in risk-taking behavior in the participants. Similarly, there is a negative relation between overall quality of life and impulse uh, sensation seeking, uh, indicating that when impulsive uh, sensation seeking behavior increases, the overall quality of life of the participants decreases. Uh, when we move to the next one, it is seen that uh, the positive correlation is seen between uh, quality of life and family support as well. That is when family support increases, the overall quality of life of these people were better. Likewise, social, uh, psychological health and social relation has a negative, uh, has a positive trend towards family support. Even though the scores are not much significant, there's a uh, slight uh, positive trend being seen. When moving on to the next factor, the risk-taking behavior and pa perceived family support among transgenders. So here we got a negative relation between risk-taking behavior and impulse, uh, impulsive sensation seeking on family of life. And while uh, considering risk-taking behavior and transgender in different stages of transitioning, uh, the uh, table shows that there is a significant difference in risk-taking behavior total and uh, stage of sexual transitioning. It can be inferred that in transgenders who are in social stage of transitioning has higher risk-taking behavior than people who are in initial stage of transitioning. So the significance value of impulsivity and transgenders is in different stages of sexual transitioning. Uh, the results obtained indicate that transgenders who are in social stage of initial season has higher risk-taking behavior than people who are in initial stage of uh, transition. can be seen that as from the initial social demographic data, we didn't have any other transgenders in the other stages of transition. Moving to the next table, which shows the relationship between family, of, uh, family support and uh, transgenders in different stages of transition. So here also we can see that uh, the uh, uh, people who are in the social uh, social stage of transitioning has lower family support than people in the initial stage of transitioning. And by considering quality of life and transgenders in different stages of transitioning, uh, we can see that transgender who are in social stage of transitioning has lower overall quality of life than compared to people who are in the initial stage of transitioning. So. While we move on to the discussion part, we can see that uh, risk-taking behavior and overall quality of life have uh, found to have a negative relation between quality of life. Uh, as quality of life decreases, there is an increase in risk-taking behavior, which was something which we uh, actually had uh, thought initially. So that came up in the line with uh, our uh, initial assumption. Similarly, overall quality of life also uh, has found to have a negative relationship between impulse impulsive uh, sensation seeking behaviors so there are a lot of studies which substantiate the uh, similar same finding and when we consider quality of life and family support among transgenders 
uh, the parental support has been shown to protect against mental problems in sexual minority adolescents. So it's also seen that perceived personal discrimination and social support from different sources predicted domains of quality of life. And uh, we can see that there is a negative relationship between quality of life and uh, was taking uh, family support. And the other variable was uh, regarding risk-taking behavior and family support. So in the present study, we have found that risk-taking behavior and impulsive sensation-seeking behavior has a negative relationship with uh, family support. Where it could be concluded that as the family support of stamp center decreases, the chance of engaging in risk-taking behaviors increases and there is a vice versa relationship. And considering risk-taking behavior among transgenders in different stages of transitioning, uh, the findings suggest that uh, sexual reinstatement surgeries uh, have an impact in uh, transgender people's risk-taking behavior. So from the present study, it uh, suggests that risk-taking behavior and impulsivity are high in transgenders who are in the second stage of transitioning, that is the social stage of transitioning. Thank and you very much. The Thank you.